this is a Michelia Alba X that I grabbed onto Campeca. I did a video on this and this video is going to be a um, following up question and answer and then afterward I will show you around the plan that I have okay so the first question is from Lin Nguyen hi where are you located now um, I am uh, in Australia and I live in Melbourne now Yeah, this is uh, my street now. Very quiet now. Okay, and the second question is, is from Ruta Na Bofa. It was asked, um, what do you use what do you use to fertilize your beautiful tree now? Well, uh, this is the Michelle Alba. When I first bought it, um, I used fertilizer, but later the years, okay? And even now, um, I don't use fertilizer. The reason being is um, this is a very strong tree now. And uh, if you have fertilizer, you can use it, but um, don't use it too much. The most you just use is about uh, maybe one or twice a year. Don't put it too much, uh, because this is very vigorous tree. Uh. It, it, I don't think it needed. Uh. Okay, um, we just move to the last question. Um, here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's from Arbor Spring. All the leaves die in my tree now will it grow back now this is the question that prompt me to do the video um, because uh, perhaps you know it can I can help you with it uh, I'm not sure okay at what state of your tree right now um, but it's loose all the leaf okay then it's, uh, it's quite serious um, I have seen my tree, okay, you know, lose the leaf before, but uh, not completely. So when you're saying it's lose the leaf, okay, I mean all the leaves is die. Uh, I'm not sure if you mean like all the leaf completely, okay, falling down from the tree, or some of them still um, attached to the tree. Now, for example, okay, um, this leaf here, okay. It doesn't consider it healthy, but if it's still on the tree, okay, then it means the tree is still doing well now. So if your one is barren, okay, like this branch here, then it's uh, very serious. Uh. Um, now we'll go back, so it's, it's depend, okay, how serious it is. If it's not too serious, okay, um, then it will grow back now. Otherwise, it's just dying, now, dried out and just dying. Now. And um, to most cases, okay, is it has to be related to water. Now. I mean, there's other factors that, you know, can kill the tree as well. But um, in my experience, the factor is related to water. One is um, too much water. And the other one is too little water. Now, okay. As you can see, this tree here uh, is... It's quite healthy right now but before okay in the summer it wasn't like this uh, okay um, and the case being is it doesn't have enough water because it's summer and I I thought okay it's in the ground uh, and it's, it's a quite a strong tree now so it's gonna grow by itself so I didn't water it as a result okay um, the leaf is just um, dying what happened is it just dry out and um, there seem to be bare branches uh, like this one here I'll show you now it's still here I haven't trimmed it down yet now. but as you can see here this one here 
these are this is what I'm talking about just branches bare and it's dried up now okay so this is uh, related not in related to not enough water now see these branches here hanging out like this okay so this one definitely dried out now okay I just haven't trimmed it yet as you can see it's very snappy these are dried out now. and this leaf here they are just new grow okay so how to remedy this situation what I did was um, as you can see down on the ground I put uh, mulches to keep moisture around the, um, the tree and you know uh, water it regularly so so it will sprout back now and all of this okay is a new growth now okay before it wasn't like this now it looked like a dying tree now so just water it um, put some mulch in there because uh, here usually in summer we always you know short of water what I mean is it's very dry now and um, you know you, you just don't worry about your tree that often now. and uh, this plant here it loves water now. okay when I say this plant here love water um, doesn't mean you need to water it all the time now the answer to this is no you don't water it all the time now. okay and actually you water it all the time that is the second problem I want to raise uh, see this tree is love moisture which means you need to water it keep it moist okay but you do not water it all the time now. why now because this plant here the root system is um, very brittle okay and if you water it all the time you will cause a root rot now and that is the second factor is that causing your tree okay to lose the leaf now because when the root is rot okay the tree will slowly die out now which means the leaf okay um, will wilt it and uh, it will die and probably fall off now so you do not water it all the time now okay and this plant here how often do I water it now I water it probably uh, once in a week and sometimes is um, only once in every two weeks and even worse okay like the other time um, I just live there for a long time now and what happened is all the leaf okay is it's wilted now it's like when it doesn't have enough water you know what it look like don't you okay that case you just water it and it will just bring back okay to normal now so it's not a problem but too much water okay will can it can actually kill your tree now so don't worry too much now. okay this part here okay uh, it's not ideal now why because um, there's only one hole okay on the side of it as you can see here as you can see the big hole close to the bottom okay that is the only hole it has uh, which means when water filled in okay there will be some water in there now. so when you grow your tree okay Michelia alba choose the one that has hole on the bottom okay not the one that I have now which is the hole on the side because when you water it there will be some water retained in there now. okay now why is my tree is not dying if I'm using this pot now again the reason being is um, I only water it once in a while now and when I water it I water it a lot now and to, to wet all the soil um, but then again okay um, I leave it for a while so the water in there okay is not soaking in there it's not it doesn't stay there all the time now so um, that's why it didn't die now 
But if you want, okay, uh, you have a pot like this, and you water it, it like the every day, every two days or three days, okay, you will kill your tree now, okay. So, yeah, that's the second problem: too much water now. So if you have this situation, okay, how are you gonna solve it now? Well, like I said earlier, it so depend on uh, where the tree at, okay? Uh, if it's very serious, it's, you probably cannot save it. But if it's not, okay, it's just like the leaf, okay? It look bad now. It's dying, but you know, it's, it's not completely dead yet now. Then it still can be saved now. Um, now as you know, okay, either you have uh, not enough water or too much water. So to remedy this um, situation is do not worry it now, okay, or put fertilizer. Because when we love this plant, okay, you usually, um, you know, give it too much care now, okay, you know, like uh, it's not doing well, okay, maybe I'm not watering enough now. So you, what you do is you water it more now. So, what, what I'm saying is you're actually doing more damage to your plant now than to save it now. Again, don't worry too much now. So, uh, so don't worry too much, just leave it for a while and, um, and see how it go. Um, and um, if you worry too much, okay, what you could do is um, take it out of the pot, okay? Don't break up the soil, just take it out, okay? Okay, don't break it up now. And see, okay, if any moisture in there, any retained water in there, okay, any root rot now, then you, you will know what this problem is. Uh. And if there's too much water or root rot, okay, what you do is you, um, you remove just those parts now, okay. Don't break up the soil, just remove the... Um, the moisture part, okay, you know where the water is, and then repot it, okay, with soil, but not too, um, not too wet, now. and then leave it there, okay, and um, and let it grow back again, now. okay. That is the uh, way to, you know, to um, save it. Now, you need to reduce the water, okay, and uh, let it grow back again. Now. Now let's um, get an update of this plant here, okay? This one here is the grab one. As you can see, um, I grab it in summer. And now it's winter now. So it's been like uh, many months now. Okay? And look how it's grown now. Okay? And then again, I'm telling you, this is not ideal, okay? As you can see, the graph, okay? It's gone sideways now, okay? It's not straight up now. To do a straight up, okay, you need to grab it, okay? When uh, the plant is, uh, the, the mother plant, okay? Or the main, main plant, okay? It's still young now. This one is uh, it's way too big now. This one is way too big now, okay? So you grab it um, from uh, Michelia Kempaka when it's about uh, one or two years old now. And of course, uh, once it's successful, okay, you need to cut this off now, okay? To promote this one to grow more upright instead of sideways like this now. All right? And here, okay, is the part that I scarf off that I was gonna, um, you know, um, root it from, from the plant, okay, and see how it go. But um, over time, okay, we, uh, we come into winter, so it's not ideal to do the uh, air layering. So I just leave it there, and as you can see, it's doing quite well now, okay. And look at the, uh, the part look at this part here okay this part here if i apply some moisture around it okay the root will emerge from here now very easily now okay so this is a good thing now 
okay? Which means, okay, um, it can quickly uh, grow root out of, out of it. And, um, and seeing that the wound is healed it up, okay, it doesn't uh, infect the tree, okay, it doesn't uh, have any effect on the tree up, upward, but the root will come out very quickly. See, oh, this part here is dying, okay, to grow root now, but because there's nothing, nothing down here, that's why there's no root, um, you can see no root now. But if I, like I said, you know, put some moisture, soil, or some material there, okay, the root will emerge from there. And as a result, okay, there's a cutoff of um, sap okay, to the upper of the tree, upper part of the tree. That's why the leaf, okay, is kind of yellow. As you can see, it's yellow. Okay, it's like it's dying, okay, but uh, the matter of fact, it's not dying. It's just uh, lack of nutrient now. That's why it's kind of yellow now. Okay, so um, I will do a video on uh, air layering, but uh, then again, <laughs> I'm not sure I'll get it done soon because we are right now in um, spring and um, it's a good time, okay, to do um, some gardening. Now. And this part here is, is quite healthy, okay. Because um, the nutrient is passed to from the root uh, to the trunk and then go to this branch here, and it look uh, very green, okay. And hopefully, okay, this year we will have flower now. Okay, here it is, quite healthy now. Okay, just a quick note, okay. This is the the one, okay. That I was talking about the yellow, how yellow that is, okay. This is Michelia Campeca. I will show you a healthy Michelia Campeca with a uh, greener leaf. So you can compare the, uh, the two now. Okay, this is the last tree, okay, I have it in the ground. Okay, if you look carefully, you can see how green that is. Now. There. Okay, it's not very big, okay, because um, the nutrient here is not that great, and the soil is not great. Uh. And I don't water it, uh, uh, I don't water it. Uh. But it's quite healthy, see how greeny it is. Still have flower. There's a yellow tiny flower up there. Okay. So then again, here it is, uh, a shot of it. And uh, if you look up on the top, okay, and as mentioned from the last video as well, see all the branches up there. Uh, it's actually died off now, it's totally dry right now. That's because it's lack of water. So it's died off a bit now. Okay, here's a closer shot now. We just come out of winter, okay, and uh, from a quick look, there's still several butt, okay, around. See that one there? That's one there. There's other one up here as well. This one here. And there's one other one around, of course. Uh. There's one here as well. And this bud is gonna flower very soon now. And there's one on the top now. Okay, it's just too bright for up the sun now. Okay, I hope that's better. Here I wanna show you something now. Okay. See this this top part here. There's a bud, okay, right here. See I'm pointing the finger. Okay, and this this one here is the one that just flower. Okay, and as you can see, this one uh, the seed will emerge from here. It will grow bigger, and there will be seed. Okay, look, have a look at this one here. So this year there's plenty. Of, you know, I will have plenty of seed. 
there. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'll try to grow some from seed now. Okay, here I have a, a bag, okay, of something I want to show you now. Okay, oh. here it is. This is a seed pot now. I collect it from the tree now. And if you're wondering where's the other seed now, well, I took it out and I just put it in the ground, okay. But because the uh, but there's there's no germination, okay. I think the soil is very bad now. It's too dry now, okay. So um, I haven't seen any of them growing now. Okay, I can still see this one here has still has a C in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's very tiny. Okay, very tiny now. It's right there where my thumb is. Now. Yeah, that is a seed now. Okay. Yep, just drop it. So it's a seed, that's how small it is now. Okay, that's a seed from the from the pot. Now. So what I did was um just before winter, I actually bought this. Uh, this seed is not mine. Uh, I just bought it now. Uh, and I was um, thinking that I'll sort of trying to grow it and see what it's like. And I haven't done it yet. So I will try to grow it uh, from this sea and see how it goes. Uh, under ideal condition, of course. Uh, before I just um, put it on in the soil where my garden is. But um, I think it's lack of water. Um, and I didn't take good care of it. So that's why none of them grow, okay? so. I thought I'll try to grow. That's why I bought it. Uh, I bought some of the seed here. All right. Um, I will show you the plant. Okay, that I have. Uh, just show you around my garden. Okay. So this is another Michelia campaca. This is the one that was unsuccessful. As you can see, the wound is still on the trunk of the tree. Yeah, that's a wound there. Okay, and if you look at it, it's kind of yellow as well now. Okay, it's not like as green as the uh, the big tree. Okay, that's our plant in the ground. And for the reason being is it's lack of water now. Yep, we just come out of uh, winter, and you'd be surprised that you know it's not enough water in in winter now. See this pot here, I have mulch in there. So I actually dig it up, okay, and I found that it's not enough water in there. It's very dry, okay. So that's why this tree, this this leaf here is yellow. You see how bad this one is? Okay, it's not green, it's very yellow now. Okay. But this tree still can be saved now, okay. It just need um water and it will spring back to life again now. and if you look here this is a peach tree just flower see it's flowering here that means it's spring here and we are in september now that's really good for us, uh, but uh, for people who live in um, America, I guess you are preparing for winter right now. Which means you, you can come here, you know, for holiday if you want to. But of course we have lockdown, you can't now. <laughs> this one here is also a flower as well. Uh, this is apricot. flower and this is the big tree okay the Michelia alba 
podcast, you already know about it. Just behind it, uh, I have some banana tree. Yep, it's winter. Even the banana tree, okay, it doesn't seem to have any grow, so it just uh, stay there, okay. And uh, when summer come, it will start growing again. And here's the dragon fruit now. Um, this plant here, I'm not sure what it's called, but is uh, you can use it to make um, jelly. Okay, and that's a banana back in there. And look at this one. This one is plump now. This plump here is very hardy now. I hardly water it, and look how healthy it is now. It's bare fruit, the leaves look green. So it's very ideal, okay, to grow um, plum now. I got um, sugar cane as well, but it doesn't do so well. There's sugar cane back in there. Okay. And this is uh, persimmon. This is persimmon. And this is more sugar cane. I got um, three variety, okay? This one here is the uh, purple leaf one. Yeah, so the cane itself is sort of uh, red or purple, and the leaf is purple, okay? And this one is a yellow type. Yep, that's better. So this one is yellow type with green leaf. And next to it is the um, burgundy, okay? Burgundy type. And it has, um, it has green leaf now. And whoever that is, I'm not sure now. Okay, and this is the uh, jasmine. I use a fencing. And if you look at this, it's a bamboo, okay? It's a um, Timor black bamboo. It's very uh, bushy now. So I'm, right now, I'm trying to remove it, okay? So I can plant other stuff in there now. But it's very difficult now. Let me show you now. Okay, so I'm trying to dig around it, okay, and remove it now. The soil here is very, very dry now. It's almost like sand now. So yeah, even thought, you know, in winter there's rain but some part of it um, in my garden is very dry now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remove this uh, bushy uh, Timor black, okay? So I can grow more things. Okay. Yep, in there is bamboo, sorry. Okay, in there is a banana tree as well as sugar cane. Okay, here's a yellow bamboo. It's also called it the uh, painted um, bamboo. I love bamboo, it's just that um, I don't have enough land to grow this. Uh. So this one was uh, growing the ground, but it has become too bushy, so I have to put it in a pot now. 
I think it's quite beautiful, but then again, I don't have room for it. Now. And I guess everyone know what that is. Now. This is bird of paradise, just in case uh, some of you who do not know what it is. And this vine here, um, it has a very beautiful flower as well as, as it smells very nice. I'm not sure what it's called. I have to look it up and tell you later what it is. Okay, here's another pot. This one here is from cutting, okay? Yep, you can grow this from cutting. Just cut it, put it in the soil, and it grow now. Okay, and this is um, yep, I don't know the name of it in English. Uh, so in Vietnamese, it's called Mai. Okay, what is that? Uh? That's lily. This is yellow color. Okay, this is lily, yellow color. Uh, orange lily. I think that's the uh, big one. See, nó nhồi mấy cái này lên này. Growing. See that? See that? It's growing. Mm. Yep, there's a lot of blood, okay? Immersed from the ground, and that's a lily with a variety of color. And hopefully, we'll have some flower. It will, definitely. <laughs> definitely, we'll have some flower. <laughs> it definitely, I bet you. Okay. And then this is not my plant. Uh. That's my plant. Okay. This is from this lady plant. Uh. That's my plant. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not mine. Uh. It's and wh and what, what is in this pot? Uh? Okay. Well, it's another variety of flower thing. Uh. I'm not sure what that is. Uh. And this one here is uh, orchids. orchids uh. It's not mine. Uh. <laughs> they all my flowers. And it's belong to this beautiful lady. Uh. All my flowers. <laughs> yep, there's another pot of uh, orchids as well. That's nice. Yep, flower is very nice. Uh. Yep, okay. Yeah, this one has a uh, flower, but not as um, many as the nectarine. Okay, what is this? I don't know English name. Okay, yep, I, I don't know the name of it either, but it looks very beautiful. Lots of flower, and there's bud everywhere. That means it's gonna, we're gonna have more, even more Lam flower. Lam -sum. Okay. This one. And I think this one is, um, you can grow from cutting as well. Yeah, just cut it, dip it in the soil good soil need to water it okay and and it will grow into another plant ah oh, I got another variety as well this one here okay this green thing here and it has white flower smell very nice sorry I don't know what's it called now so if someone know what it is, okay, 
you can let me know. It smells very nice. Huh? And it's, this one is hearty as well. Huh? We blend a lot of cheese, but I don't know the name. <laughs> okay, that's about it. Huh? Ah, here's a, what do you call it, a rose, yeah, very beautiful, red flower. Okay, here is my indoor plant. The big pot here is the wasabi. If you look at the leaf, you you probably know what it is. The big pot wasabi, wasabi, um, and this pot here. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure it's firm. It just grow by itself. Now I didn't plant it. Now I trim it off, and it just keep growing. Now, but there's something I want to show you inside that pot. Now. Okay, can you see it? There. There. That, this is what I want to show you now. It is a tree, tea, a tea tree now. And believe it or not, this one here is two years old now. Okay, and that is, a, I'll tell you a story about it next time, uh, if I still have it. And it's grow from cutting as well. Here's another one, not doing so well. Another tea tree. Uh. So I grow um, in this pot here, and this firm here, just out of nowhere, it just grow by itself. Uh. I didn't put it there. Uh. Okay, somehow it just grow by itself, so I just leave it. Uh. This one here, it it, uh, it was doing good, but uh, somehow I'm not sure it does not doing so well as this one here. As you can see, this one here has more growth, and this one here is uh, one years old. But I have many problems, okay, growing this. Uh, and that's again, maybe another story now. Uh. Okay, this one is a herb plant, okay. It's used for cooking. And I don't know the name of it now. Uh. And this one here is uh, used for cooking as well usually wrapped with um, beef, okay? I have no idea what's it called. And you was wondering, uh, why are they inside the house? Uh? Because we're in winter, okay? Yeah. I wouldn't want it to die, so I have to bring it inside the house. Uh. Inside, we have heater running to keep us warm, and as well as the plant here as well. Okay, and this one here is taro. Now. I just happened to get, um, to, you know, to grow it in uh, late summer. And I'm worried it's going to die, so I brought it inside as well. Now. This is taro. Okay, and here is lavender. There is lavender. This lavender, I didn't buy it, okay? I actually grow it from cutting. Look how bushy that is. So there's many cutting in that pot now. And I think is French lavender. 
not quite sure but I think that's what it is yep just um, put the cutting in the ground and it will grow now very easy now to grow now okay um, here's the uh, here's something I want to show you now okay not not the uh, lavender but the the um, the taro yeah this is the taro okay I was experimenting with now I got a piece uh, from the supermarket not sure it will grow okay so I planted it and as you can see it's growing now. and at the moment it has to lead now okay so it's doing quite well now so I will post that video okay and this is the result of it it does grow now okay mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the backyard as well, but um, I guess this is about it. Okay, I hope to see you in the next video. That's it. Ta-ta. Em hãy hỏi anh Rằng anh yêu em nhiều không Anh không biết phải nói thế nào để đúng với cảm xúc trong lòng khi anh nhìn em là anh thấy cuộc đời anh